Hello, my name is Jorge Betancur. I'm in Dr. Newberry's ETech 537 class. And I'm going to be sharing about how it is that I learned to hook up a VHS slash hybrid DVD player to my Promethean smart board. Other components that are important to this are the projector that I have up here and this junction box that allows my laptop and my Elmo to um, interact with the smart board uh, setup over here. In my hand I also have RCA cables and I learned that RCA cables stand for uh, got their name from their makers which were the Radio Corporation of America and each RCA cable uh, does different things uh, I have a red and white RCA cable that uh, is used to uh, transmit the sounds to the to the right and left side speakers of whatever it is they're connected to and then we have the yellow RCA cable which is used for the composite video signal that's sent from the player to the board. Um, I also have with me a RCA splitter cable uh, that I'm going to be using to, um, to split up the, the audio signal from the player to the Promethean board and I'll explain why I need, it is I need to do that. So I'll just do that now. So I have this 1 8 inch audio cable which is um, pretty universal used for different things. Uh, you might see these in uh, people's Headphones that, and have them that headphones that they have connected to uh, a media player, maybe such as an iPod um, <clears throat> or an MP3 player of some kind. Um, so I'm going to connect that into this female end here of the um, RCA splitter cable. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the junction box, and this is where I'm going to connect my um, my RCA video cable. And I'm going to put it here where it's uh, where it, um, it says video, and they're all color coded, and so they tell you it kind of just it makes it easy to put it where it goes. So I'm going to connect it in here. Now uh, I cannot connect these cables here, the the red and white RCA cables that that allow there to be sound. And the reason why is because if I connect them through that, this goes the sound goes is gets sent directly into the projector. And so then, if I'm trying to show my kids an educational video, uh, they're they're going to be hearing the sound coming straight from this unit here, and, it, and so the sound will not be as powerful, and they might not be able to hear it as well as uh, as if it was coming out to the speakers on the smart board. So um, that is why I ended up getting a, a splitter cable um, um, to to be able to project the sound from the smart board to them. So, but first, I'm just going to connect the. Um, the video cable, so I already connected it down to the junction box. Here at the back of, of the VCR, you have a whole lot of things going on here, um, but the only ones that we're concerned about are the yellow ones, because uh, these are for the video. And so it says line in, line out. So since this is gonna be sending the signal out, I'm gonna put it here in line out. And that's for the video signal. So now I'm gonna take my splitter cable, and I'm gonna put it here in the back where it goes. So I'm gonna put it, the white one here, which is typically for the left side, and sometimes the white one will be black on some other RCA cables. And then the red one will go down here for the right side. So then I already have it connected to my audio jack here. And now I'm going to connect this straight into the smart board here, and uh, where it says PC, or uh, even the DVD CD. Sorry, that's where I'm going to put it there. And then that connects the sound. And uh, the, what the splitter does, it takes the, the right and left side, and instead of having two cables plugged into there, it just kind of sends a signal um, through one cable. And um, I tried connecting the, the white and red RCA cables straight into the smart board, but um, it just didn't work that way. It worked better with this. Maybe the cable could be cheap, um, and that could be a reason why it didn't work out. Okay, so I have all my cables set up, so now I have to take my controller here and uh, I have to set my projector to the right source. Because right now the projector is on a the VGA source, and um, which is, uh, it's just simply saying that my laptop, which is connected by the VGA cable, which I learned this is called the VGA cable, so my laptop it's connected to th this cable is connected to my laptop. So then, whatever's on my laptop, when the source is on VGA, it's gonna it's gonna show whatever's on my laptop here. 
So I need to switch the source. You know, the it makes it really easy with this controller. In the controller, I just hit the video button. That switches the source, and now you see. You even see a little picture of the yellow. Um, here, I'll just go back because it, it it switched really quickly. Here I go again. So there's a, a there was a, a fast picture of the RCA uh, video cable there, and uh, I already have the. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna turn. Sorry, I'm gonna turn this on. The VCR DVD player on. So now it's on, and uh, the, this is now the audio. The video cable is now connected, and uh, it shows that it's connected because it's no longer searching. So um, I wasn't able to borrow um, uh, an educational video from my colleagues, so I'm just going to stick a, a regular video in there from a bug's life. And I'm going to pop it in there, and I'm going to turn off the lights so you guys can see how the video quality shows up on the board. Amazing collection of drums and percussion instruments that I have ever seen. What's with the pots and pans? These are all sound effect parts, really, for one of the songs in the movie, Trash in the Can. Ooh. They start wrecking it. So anyhow, the the system on its, the VCR player on its own did its own tracking to clear up the picture, and and that's how I got it to work. Um, uh, definitely, uh, it's going to be a very useful tool for my classroom. So I'm very happy that I learned. Uh, how to how to set this up? So I'm, I'm I'm happy I took the time to do that. I hope this is helpful for anybody else that needs to do this in their classroom, who has the benefit of having a smart board in the classroom, and uh, have a great day.